So if you want to open up Photoshop, some of you will have it below on this bottom bar. Some of you will have to go into your finder, go to Applications, and you see Photoshop CS6. Simply double click. And it will load. What I want you guys to think about when you're doing this, we're making a collage. This is going to be representing you as a person. So, I want to see what's, what interests you, what your hobbies are. This is a way for me to get to know you and for you to learn the basic tools in Photoshop. Okay, so as this loads, changes this to inches, we get a higher resolution. This is 300 pixels per square inch. So that's really high resolution, which would be nice for us. You can title it whatever you want, and press OK. So now we have our blank canvas. You can zoom in, zoom out, and zoom in. This doesn't change the dimensions of your canvas, just the perspective. One thing you'll always do, you notice right here where it says background on your layers, there's this little lock. If you double click, you can unlock that layer. So now I want to start building my collage. So if I was going to build a collage of me, I'm going to go Arsenal because that's my favorite soccer team. Huh? So I'm going to go images, and I'll do this main logo. 
Whenever you're dragging and dropping into Photoshop, you can simply drag here and drop. You do, however, want to make sure you click on an image, you let this little bar load, and then drag from there. You'll get a higher resolution image. So see, if you look here, see how this is 870 by 1024? That's going to determine the size. So the higher the number, the numbers are, the better the resolution. So I'm simply going to drag and drop. You'll notice Photoshop kind of placed it kind of weird. I'm going to use this tool right here. It's the move tool. I'm going to drag, click and drag, and I can place it wherever I want. Okay? One thing too, if you guys look at your keyboards and you see the apple side or the command, if you go command T, you'll see I get this. This is called a bounding box. This indicates that you're trying to manipulate or change the size. So if I click and drag, I can make this bigger. I can flip it, I can rotate it, I can do a number of things. If you want to keep the size of this consistent, if you press shift, it keeps the dimensions perfect so that it won't change. So I'll make it about this size. Another tip that you guys will want to do too, when you import something into Photoshop, you'll always want to right click or press control and click your layer, <laughs> convert to smart object, rasterize. This allows Photoshop to read the individual pixels and will help you create a better image, okay? Gives you more control. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go to Disneyland. So, I'm going to find an image. So, let's look here. Here's an image right there. You see it's 640 by 360. Not the worst, but not the best resolution. And this one's 900 by 360. That's okay. Here's 1600 by 1000. That's good. One thing I don't want to do, though, I don't want to just drag this. You see how small it is? And if I do Command T and make it bigger, if you, you can't tell really, but it's very pixelated, so I don't want that. I'm going to click, let this load, then drag and drop. You'll notice already that that, that is bigger. I'm going to now make this larger. All right. Right click or command or control click or smart object, rasterize. So one thing you notice too, I just because I added something new to my Photoshop canvas, it is on top of my Arsenal logo, right? You see that? But you see these layers right here? This is if you're stacking upon pieces of paper upon one of them, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to click and hold and drag bottom. You see that? So now the Arsenal logo is on top. So since I teach here at Rio, I'm going to get a picture of Rio. Um, beautiful. Drag and drop. Let's go here. Command T. I'll make it big. Cool. So I can move the layers around how I want. If I go back to this arsenal logo, you see how we have this white area? With Photoshop, you can change that. So we have our eraser tool here. I can loosely erase around the edges and get rid of that white. But see, I kind of get some errors as I do that. An option, if you click and hold that eraser area, use the magic eraser tool. And simply, oops, wrong area. Click, 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 click. You'll see I was able to erase all that white pretty easily. That's because the magic eraser tool erases based on similar pixels, pixel, pixel colors. So if I were to click the red, it would erase all the red and the gold. Okay? So it's a really cool trick and tool. I can get creative, do Command T, I can change the location, the size, I can start adding more things. 
what I want you to do is create a collage that represents you, okay? So think about things, your hobbies, your interests, and do it on an eight and a half by 11. So just to reiterate how to do that, file new, change your preset to US paper, make sure it's 300 resolution, press okay, and now unlock by double clicking that layer, press okay, and then you can start dragging and dropping things into Photoshop. Very cool, you got it? Does, any, does anyone have a question? Any questions? Are we good to work? All right, let's do it. Yo, yeah, for sure. Uh, I got this password, it's not working. Right Log in, just do the Rio 208 RHS. What is it? <laughs> so what's the username? Rio? Okay. The password is 208? Here. R-A, yeah, 2-0, sorry. 2-0, thank you. R-A-H-S. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. It didn't work. 208? Is it 208? Yeah, 208. What? Yeah. Yeah.